Okay. Finally we could talk to her. Jesus, Pearl. Pearl, uh, are you friends with Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Well, I had no idea Maya was so relieved. Usually when people don't use Mystic Maya title, I get mad. Uh oh, sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Ned, then it's okay. <sighs> Oof. Because, because you're special to her. Damn. Damn. Like, Phallic. With, like, some people, I will actually use informal names. Informal names, like their first names and all that. But nowadays, nowadays, I will say their surnames. It just. I don't know. It just. Where in the world did she get an idea like that? Bro, we're, 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 we're there. By the way, this may be Ruba. Which channeling room are you from? A channeling room? We could say we work something similar like, um. Miefe. Yes, for example, I cite the Kuklan technique. I get it. No, no, I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. A uh, lawyer. Eh? Yeah. Is that related really to swear media, but anyway? <laughs> Something like that, but we weren't there for that. That, um, that I know of. Wait, are you telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. Just say something that I, my, my sister left her, le like, left the family for. <laughs> now I'm joking. Why well, do you say Pearl doesn't know, well, know about the outside world? Well, that's actually kind of sad. So why are you going with that, Pearl? Oh, this. I found it earlier. Yesterday, I mean. Oh. If you want it, I can even give it to you. Accept it. Alright, if you really get it, give it to me. Hey, you look like a child at a toy store, Miss Neck. She not only speaks in a refined manner, but loves in one, too. Why does she have it, anyway? Miss Neck? Yes, Pearls? Can I? I can call you, right? You're too cute to just call you Pearl. Uh, yeah, Mr. Nick. Um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this Magatama? Yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. But I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is, ch um, change his mind to with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy? Yeah, she did. She did mention something, Mama. Please take this. I'm sure you will help be helped. <gasps> what do you mean? It will let you see people's secrets. See people's secrets? Yes. If it's all, all right with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. I can explain the magic time of how to you when we meet someone hiding a secret. I think I know someone's hiding a secret. Eeny miny, where are you from? Eeny miny. Oh, look at we seem to be seeing a lot of each other uh, today. Oh, she's like totally cute. Is she like your daughter? Well, um... What? No! How old do you think I am? Wait. If we Wait, if we're like 25, therefore... 25, get rid of 8, therefore we'll, we'll have... Therefore, in a funny sense, we'll have that child at the age of... We'll be 18 right about then. 18. Okay, so do we? Yeah, the victim. Oh. Oh, that's ah. Uh, what is that? I can see it. I uh, can you, Mister Nick? Can you see the lock on the person's heart? Uh, what? This is the power of the Magtama. Only you can see these psychic locks, Mister Nick. Psychic locks. Huh. The more people want to hide more their secrets, the more locks you will see. Um, if it's only one, I. I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock? But how? There's more than one. Please use my account. Let's do so. Okay. What well, she's talking about, but I guess I'll give it a try. You must be careful, though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you. Huh? If you don't know, you have the proof you need. You must have the courage to stop. Okay. I'm guessing we have to present? The victim. Huh, this is actually a cool mini well, mini game. Any money, I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you, like I'm many times do I like I have a repeat myself. 
If you're like totally sure, then where's like your proof? Well, it may be possible that you're never actually met Dr. Gray in person. I do believe you might at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean, like indirectly? I should try to show that the personality exists for now. Now, so something that shows a connection. Oh, so something that shows a possible connection between Enya and Dr. Gray will be it one year ago. Will be that right? I could, here is your proof. Like, where's that? Ouch, I guess this doesn't. Oof. Hmm. Oh, it only just takes one. That's quite simple. What about her? Here's your proof. Well, like, where's that? Oh, ouch. First, they want me. If you make it, it will hurt you. I don't think I do I I guess I don't have the evidence just yet I don't think yeah I don't think I just got the evidence just yet hey it's you pal so you're going to be her lawyer I bet yeah I really feel bad for you pal just like the once I wish I could be on your side detective comes you yeah but I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you yeah, you're a cute kid. Hello. <laughs> I'm not scary. Honest. Well, I never knew Gumshoe likes kids. That's terrible. I know, I'll show you something cool. How is this? It's a real genio pistol. Detect Gumshoe, what are you doing showing her something that dangerous? Yeah, she's a kid. Sorry. Uh, what about my and the char uh, charges against her? I don't think you can win, pal. If you're talking about proof, we've got a few pieces. you got pe proof? Yeah, pal. The puffy head of photography is going to testify tomorrow. Oh. Okay. I took some hot shot. Oh my. You did show me it. Remember, I took some pictures. Oh my. Oh no, we haven't seen the photos. Oh, uh, hot pictures. I wonder what her camera captured. Besides, you must have realized by now, pal. There's no way anyone other than I. Oh, okay, my fail could have done it. What am I supposed to tell Pearl now? No, we're not gonna tell her about Dr. Gray. The victim wasn't super famous, but people still know who he, who he was. His face was all of those Tobler shows last. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah, one year ago. I was looking through some newspapers for, for last year. <gasps> Wait, can't, please, you got like another piece, huh? I could have sworn I had it. I could have not got it, but I guess I have lost it. Ah, darn! You worse! He's. <laughs> no, I'm joking. He's searching through his pocket, and boy, are those big. Jesus! It looks really interesting to eat. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? A copy of the article? I think I talked to Grandma and brought a copy on the office. Oh, we have to show him the copy. Um. Fine, you can have the copy, but I want uh, like another piece. Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day and hey, is that news uh, news story the one that about the yeah, 14 patient and yeah, but but that's not all, pal. That's only only worse after that. You mean the car accident, the nurse died? <gasps> Yo, you have the other piece. Let's go. I brought my own clipping with me today. I oh, am the best here, pal. This is for you. All right, thanks. Woo! We have the second one. We will. Let's go! Okay, we'll talk. John, about my trial. I've got two pieces of news, uh, news for you, pal. Two? Yeah, bad news and even worse news. Tell me the worst news for us. I, I always do that. If, if anyone had a good mood, good mood or uh, no, good news or bad news, I normally go to bad news first, then the good news. So, which do you want first? I don't really care. It doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. Okay, well, the prosecution of the trial is prosecution on karma. Is he in jail? What? Von Karma? Was he in jail? My friend Von Karma, he was an um, a way inspiring Welter prosecutor. He never lost a case in the four years of his career and he raised a fearsome disputal. The horrible um, aftertaste of the evil he forced, uh, forfeited me is something I will never forget. 
Wait a sec. Wait, didn't we come out of Central Land? That's where the other place of bad news comes in. The one, the one coming you're facing tomorrow is actually his su successor. Huh. Successor? Huh? That's like a kid or something? What's going on here? Um, who is the successor to Von Gummer? Yeah, literally, a pious prosecutor of Von Gummer's this kid. I was right. This kid became a prosecutor really young, like 13, and hasn't lost a child since. Nice! That's what they call a progenic pal. Huh? A kid? Wait a sec. 13. The kids became a prosecutor on the age of 13. Are we finding a kid now? I mean, a prodigy like that, I will have heard something about. No, no, no. The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. Okay, the country's got a lot of stuff and it's a great, pal a great place to develop a person's ta um, talent. Germany, huh? That's probably why I never heard of this person. Huh? So, it all takes is someone uh, mentioned the name Vargarma. And I get several flashbacks to that case. No! Edgeworth! Stop it! Get a grip on yourself, Phoenix! None of that matters anymore. Now that he's gone. <sighs> Damn! You know, like, Warren Garma was actually annoying to me in person. Personally, he was annoying. So, if we have to fight a secretary, like, successor, and he's. Oh, he, maybe she, is like, stuck, like, wing annoying, like, ten times annoying, uh, I, I'm not gonna have a good time. Okay, if we say, um, don't know if we could here. Wait. Let me present something. No, like actually read. Mini money nurse like mini miny. We have we can eeny miny and we can mini miny. Rest like great search to call it I have to follow sleep at the wheel. So what about if we say what's up to her? Yo. If we present that. Uh, oh my god, it's go you're gonna be annoying to have like a way of Vargarma, I swear. If that kid is like, what, 15, 14, we're, 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 I'm gonna laugh. There you go. Take a look at this newspaper clipping. Like, what is it? A story about an accident? Please read the victim saying, a uh, mini money. I'm mini money, not mini money. Uh, my name is a pretty real name. What you say, Miss uh, Money? Will you, uh, mini money? Will you happen to be a relative of yours? <laughs> Would she? So you noticed she was my old sister. I'm sorry about your loss. Well, your sister was. She was a nurse, uh, perhaps at uh, Doctor Grace's surgical clinic. Doctor surgical clinic. I don't know. I need to tell you that. The client was run by the victim, Dr. Turner Gray, which is how you knew that um, Dr. Gray knew him through your sister. Oof, finally. Oh, yo, we got a little thing back. Ah, oh, that's actually a good, good thing. What's up with you? Please, tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. Your sister looks weird. My sister's name was Minnie Miney. She was like a nurse at Dr. Uh, Dr. Great's clinic. Okay, that's what I thought. I heard that like Dr. Great was really tough on people like a tall slave driver. My sister was like always coming home totally wiped out because she was overworked. Wiped out. So it was that when she fell asleep on the wheel. And that guy drove my sister so hard, so like that's why an accident happened. The one, the one where fourteen patients died from um, our practice. Well, yeah, like I, I think that was the doctor's fault too. My sister was pushed by like everyone's expectations and like her doers and stuff, and that pushed her to her death. Oh, I'm sorry. So like, are we done? I've like already told you my story, so I like everything, everyone. Do you understand now, Mr. Nick? This is how a psychic lock works. Well, I don't plan to pray into people's hearts unless I absolutely need to. The lock this time was pretty easy, but you might, you might meet people who aren't always willing to give in like Leron. 
If you don't have enough proof, be careful and know when to stop trying. I don't know, I just sound like a kid now. Um, hmm. Why would we... We're not here. Mr. Knight, can help us wrong. I have never left Kukang Village. Really? Whoa, that's um, pretty amazing. You are going to meet with Mr. Maya, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Oh, she can't. Oh, hey, wait. She ran off again. Well, I know she, uh, you need a secret now, but I still don't have any idea how am I going to save Maya. I don't even know how I should go on in there with a smile or, or a straight face. Uh, how about you? What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. Can I really just something? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? It must be Maya. I think I want, it's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? That voice. Mia! Let's go! Mia! M Mia! Even without me being here, it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. Mia, what's up? It's been a while. Mia, she's my older sister and my mentor. Oh yeah, yeah, that thing died. Uh, that dies down. With the whole like down. Okay, she had on top of notch defense attorney by a certain case forced her into retirement. That was where the um, red white and uh, red white, right? Red white. But whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help, just like this. Her spirit comes back from the other world and borrows Maya's body for a bit. Oh yeah, and Ma Maya's getting stronger, so she may stay long. Phoenix, you can't make, uh, make that face kind of... Uh, Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face in front of your client. Elora is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets, and especially when it's bad. Maya, Mia, you can't smile, uh, you can't smile at the end if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show a client, Phoenix, but so tell me about all about it. I'm going to guess that my sister is in a lot of trouble again. I told her everything about what happened in the last two days. Mia closed her eyes, deep in thought, while she listened. I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. And that is, tell me, please. I believe in your um, convictions and fight to be completely acquitted to your, of your clients. Huh. You think my uh, mine is not guilty? How can you be so sure? I know she is. And I'll give you a hint as to why. Yes? Mediums can have dreams. They can't? From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while channeling, yeah? She says she jumped that she had died and had been buried in the ground. Uh, that's impossible. You've heard it from her. I'm sure when a medium channels her own spirit, does that uh, disappears, which means that it's impossible for her to dream during that time. Then, what does this mean? I think it's safe to bet that Maya was up. It's up. It's up to you to blow the lid on that case uh, tomorrow and show how she was up. Oh. How am I supposed to prove her instance when I have nothing to go on? If you're looking for a clue, it's already in your head. hands, is it? Just as I sounds, uh, Phoenix, you already have the key. Really? Come on now, show me the key in this case. The key, huh? Alright, I'll show it to the key I hold. The key I that I hold? What be that? This is Maya's Atama, isn't it? Or do you have it? Maya gave it to me, but... I see. This is something um, something very important to me. T take care of, um, take good care of her, okay? She's looking with a soft look in her eyes. Why, Mia, yeah, have you seen this key before? Ah, the key is literally the key to understand everything that what happens in this case. The key? Phoenix, listen, right now. The key is sitting in your hand. However, it shouldn't be... It, it, it contacts the facts. What does this she mean? I'm certain this case will be a piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. Huh, you know that the key to this case is that is enough. But how I how can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who who could I can't know if 
at the time, but the scene was going to end with a turn for the surprising. Oh! M Mia, what? What's wrong? That's right, only I can see a psychic lock. She's hiding something. Which means Mia must know something about the real murder, but for, for this to be something that she would have hid it under lock and keep from even me, what in the world is going on? Oh god, who could it be then? Who could have been then, right? Who could have been? Um, yeah. Okay. Well, it's different. We got the final day. So, normally it goes by day one, day two, and all that, but now it's got by parts. Gotcha. That's a lot different. What? What's going on, Karma? You mean. No, I heard it says successor this time. Successor? Oh, my. Let's see. Ah, cool. A lot of new people. Loving, love, loving new people. <gasps> yo! Yo! Mia Fey deceived. My my sister's older sister. She was a top notch lawyer, and my mentor and friend forever. Aw, that's cute. Uh, any money? Okay. Uh, Minnie money to see Diana in a car accident one year ago with Innie's old sister, or is that Doctor Grace Cleaner? Uh, that's all we need to know. Uh, a man friend, one karma was a a really sinner man. He pulled all sorts of nasty tricks all so he could win. He was a man obsessed with the word perfection. He had a perfect record for four year long years. We know that sort of dirty tricks he used to get each other those uh, guilty verdicts. And now, his successor, I wonder what kind of person they will turn out to be. I'm actually scared at this point. Last time, Gar Von Karma, I was actually kind of getting annoyed. And with um, his like low voice objections, it's no good. Miss Maya, Pearly. You showed up. Thank you for coming all this way. I was really worried about you. Yeah, I'm worried about you. <laughs> hey, where's your where's your mother? Did you come with come together? Mother is watching over the trainers. She said they have training for two uh, two days straight with no breaks. Huh? Then then you came all by yourself? Ah, how the heck did? Yep, I sent out of the miner and followed the map. Don't tell me you walked all the way here. Of course not. I ran. That's I can't. Oh my. Oh my. If I. If it takes two hours by train, oh man. What about the train? Huh? What's a trainee? Oh my god. I give up. <laughs> it's time, isn't it? I'm really scared why if Gone Grandma tries to do something to me. At least I know Mr. Hedgewood would be not, uh, nicer to me than Gorgarma. Oh, if I'm sure if this is more nicer. Mr. Edgeworth, who is that? Uh, he's an ex rival. Well, he's also a friend. I saw him at my house, though I'd been. Um, I'd seen him only yesterday. Yeah, we just got yeah, objections to each other. Every time I was a, a scorn journaling uh, first bout until the very end. Shut for the objections, it was always back and forth with them. But when you're rivals for life, why uh, Please don't mention that name ever again. Eh? But why Nick? I I'm sorry, Maya. I forgot you. You don't know. Uh, he's he's gone. He's not coming back. Huh? Wait, wait a second. What's that supposed to mean? Come on, Oh God. Let's go. Now's not the time to talk about that anymore. Nick. Did he left the prosecution office because he was talking about uh, chapter five. Oh, hello. You're different. Of course, I'm a section for the trial of my fate. At the prosecution and the defense of Pepet. Who are you? What is with that kid? <laughs> Mr. Wright, are you Pepet? Huh? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Why does he always seem uh, mad at me? Mr. Phoenix Wright. And uh, you're a female, I reckon. You must be a little shocked because I'm a woman, correct? Yes, you are. <laughs> Hold on. So she's the famed pro successor to pro uh, Professor uh, Prosecutor, I mean, not Professor Prosecutor Von Karma. I am Francesca Von Karma, an prodigy. I see. 
I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. Oh my god. Revenge? Is revenge on us? Is this about her father, my uh, friend Von Karma? Um, if it's something more of a personal match uh, nature, I'm sure you can. Ow! I'm talking. Excuse- Are we allowed to have that in court? If you interrupt, um, again, my whip will do the speaker for me. Please speak with your mouth like a normal person. I beg of you. Ah, can't you have that in court? Make no mistakes, I will defeat you. Prepare to go down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Prosecution of Arkama, your opening statement, please. Those of Arkama blood have only one fate, and that is perfection. Uh, <laughs> I ruined that perfection a long time ago, sweetheart. <laughs> this defendant, uh, my, my fate will find no escape from a guilt on my watch. Very well. What is the defendant's position, Your Honor? Does the defendant wish to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes. Foolish, fo uh, foolish fool who foolishly dreams of foolish dreams. Ten minutes. I'll give the defendant ten minutes before I changes the pl this plea. That's right. I'll have you running for the justified self-defense plea in no time. Justified self-defense. Damn. A plea usually uh, received for you when a person un unintentionally. Uh, kills in defense of to themselves. We can very easily make a solid case that is when self defense, but. Huh. The defense stands by the plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Because to plead justify self defense is to say you did kill someone. Huh. How foolish. Damn. If that's, if that's how you play it, Mr. Phoenix, right, then I shall now call the first witness. Just as scary as her father, just. Like father, like a dar, I suppose. <laughs> oh, yeah, gumshoe. When is your name and application? Yes, sir. My, de <laughs> <laughs> my name is Dick Gumshoe. I'm a detective of local friends. <laughs> ah! Get to the point, alright. Damn, explain to the court the details of this map. Yes, sir. Uh, if everyone will take a look at this map. The channel, okay, the channel chamber has no windows and the door was locked shut. And the door of the, uh, at the time of the murder, uh, the murder only the victim and the defendant were in the room. Why they were doing that? And um, they, well, they were channeling a spirit, sir. Channeling a spirit? That's quite the look of, of disbelief there, your honor. Um, anyway, a few minutes after the channeling started, gunshots we heard coming from inside the, the room, sir. A few minutes, okay. A few of the witness broke uh, the door down and rushed into the room, and that's when they found the victim and was already dead to cracked. Huh. huh. I believe this is one of the most open and shut cases I ever present, so uh, Okay, we have a very bad. So when the victim killed, was about to get to get, uh, get to that. So wash, um, do we, um, washing. Stop wasting my, uh, my time then. Cause of death. Yeah, was it like, was it stabbed to the stabbed first of the a gunshot to the head, right? The direct cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead, sir. The shot was fired from point blank range, but before the victim was shot, he was stabbed in the chest. The wound was very sharp, but not enough to cause instant death. The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. Huh. So the victim was stabbed before she being shot. This is the ver uh, victim's autopsy. After being okay, Doctor Gray's autopsy. After being stabbed in the chest, he was shot in the forehead. Okay, point blank. The court accepted into a, okay. The trooper there was pistol shot to the forehead. The let me quickly look. Uh, we have an article. I don't know. The article won't be above. Folded screen about eight inches off the ground in a small hole that looks like a bolt hole. So, huh? The key. I don't know about the key. Uh, I don't know about the. Let's see. The shot was fired from point blank range, but before the victim was shot, so he was stabbed in the chest. The wound was very sharp, but not enough to cause an instant death. The murderer was used the pistol to finish the 
Huh, after the stabbing. What happened if I, um... Hmm, let's, let's look at that. Point blank, huh? Is about how far is that? Is... Is anywhere between 12, 12 to 20 inches away? And how do you know it was shot plank range? Test, test, test. Mr. Phoenix, right? We got tired to of the foolish fully of the foolish fools of the foolish country. Are you saying Japan's the foolish? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, gunpowder burn. Huh? Gunpowder burn. When someone is shot from point blank burns, area is left around with a bullet hole. Huh. Gunpowder exploded that makes a bullet fire. And I get real hot, pal. And there was definitely some gunpowder uh, burns left on the victim's forehead. No? Yeah, maybe that. Live and learn, I guess. Uh, before the shot, before the victim was shot, so he was stabbed in the chest. Shall I um, use that? Above and off the ground, it is a small hole that looks like a bullet hole. I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. Uh, okay. I should have just. Shall I like went go through everything? I keep doing that. I I just like. Also, okay, yeah, we talked about. Uh, the murder weapon. Just have come show who pistol was it? It was the victim's. He had a pistol. The victim. Now why will you have? Why will you have a pistol? Who cares? The point that you are missing is, is whose fingerprints are on that pistol. If you're not already paying attention to that, then I suggest you start. Fingerprints, they were fingerprints, along with the victims. The defender, my face, were also on the grip, so. Oh, uh, we're screwed. Huh, so the defense fingerprints were left. I walked right into her chat and hand seat there. Uh, no. Before. Stab and what was that with? Okay, a foot knife. I see you. And whose knife was it? It looks like it belongs to the face, sir. And of course, my face fingerprints were all, all over it. Huh? Of course, uh, all, all over it? Uh, that, this does not sound good. What will you do now, Mr. Phoenix Wright? How oh, serves? Uh, was the wound? It had been uh, half an inch more to the right, it would have hit the victim's heart. After a stab like that, it's impossible to fight back, let, let alone stand. This, this just may make it sound like Maya had stabbed him with and the intent to kill. Are you sure he was stabbed first and shot? Yep, sure, I can be sure. One look at the wound and you come to the same conclusion, too, pal. If Lord should. A fool is a fool who will only listen to the foolish opinions 